Alrighty, I think we're good. I think we're good. What's up, guys? We are going to be knocking off some more quests tonight. And thanks to the very, very generous den uh, donation from Venom, we have a bunch of runes and stuff that we can use to our advantage, so we're going to be working on our magic for a bit. Also, apparently there's a drop party. A drop party that I will not be partaking in, because I do not feel like it. Also, I think we're only like 20 minutes away from being able to trade stuff, and when we're able to, um, probably going to be trading with uh, Gank to give him the other part of the certificate that we didn't give him before. So we're probably going to be doing that. Yeah, oh, the drop party. The drop party is real. I know. Also, as soon as we can trade, we're going to go and uh, trade all the cow hides that we have. Because the trading of cow hides is a thing that's going to happen. Yo, Gank, what is up? Thank you for stopping by, man. I appreciate the support. How are you doing tonight? We are going to start Doric's quest so that we can get stuff done. We're doing Doric's, then we're going to go over and we're going to do uh, Knight Sword, and then we're probably going to do alley rescue and then i'll debate whether or not i want to do black fortress right now because i don't know if i want to oh smithing a 26 i definitely don't have a smithing a 26 why do i need a smithing a 26 for black knight's fortress uh, 26 what does 26 do for me lanterns 26 does lanterns for me. That's it. Why Why do I need 26? 26 only has battle axes for me. Anyway, we're going to come over here. We're going to start Doric's quests. We're going to go get all the stuff that we need to do. Uh, we did go off and complete... Um, what is it here? What is it here? Where is it? Uh, Imp Catcher. We went and we completed Imp Catcher. We got the beads off stream and we went and took them in. Doric. What's up? Let's start this, man. Hello, traveler. What brings you to my humble smithy? Quests. No, oh, no quests. Want to use your anvils? Wanted to use your anvils. Ammo's get enough work for my own use. Make pickaxe pickaxes takes a lot of hard work. If you get me some materials, you can use them. Sure. Does this dude sell pickaxes? I feel like that's the thing he should do. Yeah, I'll get materials. So what is it? We need six clay, four copper, two iron. Okay, that's not bad. It's actually super simple. Dude, I don't need your stupid pickaxe. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. We are going to need some room, though. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, that's the room for our clay right there. Uh, and then two iron, four copper, I think he said. Two iron, four copper. Uh, Dork's quests. Four copper, two iron. So, we need another six spaces. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. There we go. Perfect. Alrighty, we now have room. So, let us go do things that involve us mining and other random stuff. This is actually probably one of the easier quests to do. Because it just requires us getting some stuff. So, it's not particularly hard. Who's online right now? Gang's online. Venom's online. Zistray's online. That's pretty cool. We got some people on here if we need help. Oh, about to level up in magic. Maybe we should get into a battle just so we can level up. That would be pretty cool. I did want to get a mithril kite shield, but apparently what's her name here doesn't actually sell them. 
Alrighty, let's just run. Let's just run. There's no point in walking all the way over there. No point in walking all the way over there. Is there still a drop party happening up here? I keep saying we should get a bunch of people together and do a party room thing. Ah, uh, there's no one here anymore. There were people here, but not anymore. Alright, let's go down. Oh, dude, water runes. Could have picked some of them up. Um. Alright, so we need... Four copper. So let's grab these coppers here. So, one. Oh, dude, the scorpion. You know what? Fine. Let's kill it. Let's level up our magic. There we go. There is our level. Quicker way to get the ores by the dwarven mine. Well, it's a little late now. One. Dude, we're mining copper. I feel like it shouldn't take this long. Alrighty, there's those four. Where's our clay? I know it's around here somewhere. Ah, here it is, clay. Dude, why do people mine clay so much? I'm curious, like, I, I legit want to know why it's such a big deal. What are my stats at? There are my stats there. Oops. Don't want to attack a dwarf. I don't want to attack a dwarf. No! I just wanted some clay, guys, and we ended up attacking a dwarf somehow. Oh, we didn't kill it. Yo, Venom, what is up? Thank you for stopping by, man. I appreciate the support. How are you doing tonight? Thank you for the very generous donation. Yo, Chaos Runes. Always can use a good Chaos Rune. And two irons. There is an iron over here. But instead of struggling with this dude here, let's just come over and... I guess struggle with all these people over here for some iron ore. Don't die with all those runes? Yeah, I'm gonna do my best. If I do anything that's particularly uh, dangerous, then I'll definitely bank them or something. But I think I'm fine just walking around. If we get some stupid random event, then I'll probably just... Uh, I'll probably just... Oh, dude, this isn't gonna work. If we get a stupid random event, like one of the ones where they attack us, I'll probably just run. So, it shouldn't be too big of an issue. Okay, dude, leave me be for like five seconds. I just need two iron ores. And I'm only level 50, and so... My mining isn't particularly that great. Oh, I lied. My mining is apparently 23. I did not pay attention to that at all. Alright, we got everything. Let's head back to Doric, I guess. I'm pretty sure that's all you actually have to do for this quest, so, you know, that knocks that off pretty dang quick. So, we'll start with, uh, we'll start on the Knight Sword quest. How do we start that one? Um, can start by speaking to the squire. Yo! Southern Faldor, perfect. We are already in Faldor. Actually, you know what, we'll start this before we actually go back and talk to Doric. Because we're already in here. If only we had more body runes, we could confuse people. If we really wanted to, we could turn all of our bones into bananas. Then again, we only have two nature runes. Yo, we can use Windbolt now. That's pretty awesome. I don't think I want to use that yet, though. I could. Uh, I could, but I don't know. I really don't want to waste cha uh, chaos runes right now. I use them in case I need them. But I'm thinking that I'm going to wait until we get to at least 
water bolts before we start using stuff, I think that's probably a better idea. Alright, so I've talked to the stupid squire. Where are you, squire? Squire, come to me. Hello, I'm the squire to Sir Vi Vivan. Yo. And how is the life of a squire? Would you prefer to squire for me? No. Well, Sir Vivan. Vi Vivan? 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 Yeah. Whatever it is. A good guy to work for. However, I'm in a spot of trouble today. L lost Sir Vivan's sword. You know what I never understood is that you end up keeping the sword, don't you? You can make a new sword if you'd like. Thanks for the offer. I'd be surprised if you could, though. Thing is, this sword is a family heirloom. Has been passed down through Ivan's family for five generations. Originally made by M. Kando dwarves, who were particularly skilled tribe dwarven smiths, blah, 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 blah. Not 100% sure the uh, Imkato tribe exists anymore. Should think Rel uh, friggin' Reldo. We gotta go back to Reldo, guys. Gotta go back to Reldo. Level 36 White Knight. If there was a way to cheese the knights, that would be pretty awesome. Maybe there is, though. There probably is, because I know you can do it to the guards in Varrock. You can just hide behind a rock and just keep shooting at them, which I find hilarious, by the way. I find it so funny that you can just hide behind a rock and the AI is too stupid to just walk around the rock. That guy was increasing his magic by teleporting to Faldor. Level 37 before we can teleport to Faldor, guys. Who would want to teleport to Lumbridge? Also, I find it hilarious that you get the teleport to Varrock before you get the teleport to Lumbridge. That's pretty funny. Okay, so once we finish this quest, I should actually be able to start trading stuff. So, we'll give that a look, and then I'll go try and sell all the hides that I have to get a bit more money. Money is always nice. Got the materials? I do indeed. Yo! Done. That mining, 180 coins. Cool. Mining went up to 25. Sweet. New information from the mining dude in Lumbridge. That's okay. Night Sword. So, we gotta go back to Varrock. Let's head over to Varrock. We can bank our pickaxe because we no longer need it. Or do we? Oh, no, actually, we probably do need our pickaxe, don't we? I think we do. Oh, dude, I didn't want to eat that, but apparently eating that is what we are going to do. Uh, we're going to head back to Varrock. We're going to get our hides out. We're going to hopefully see if we can trade. Hopefully, hopefully. We're going to get our glow, too, and our wave ready. Because those are always helpful. Yo, look at this guy in black armor, trying to be cool. I was rocking black or, uh, armor before you were, dude. Mm, this run isn't going to get us very far. That music. What music do we have? Seventh Realm. All fairies in love and war. Or just all fairy in love and war, sorry. It's not all fairies in love and war. Although, you would think if there was a war between love and fairies, all the fairies would be present. I mean, I guess that's kind of a thing that happens. When there's a war. Now I'm just rambling about random stuff. That's the best part of the stream, though, is when you talk about complete random things. It's always interesting. The McGuinness. Yo, what was that? I thought I saw some, like, giant explosion over there.